The juice of red cabbages is used as a pH indicator to measure the acidity and basicity of different solutions. Red indicates uh, acidity, whereas blue indicates basicity, and purple indicates a neutral solution.
All right, let's see. Vineyards, wine, grapes, juicy juice. <gasps> Grape juice, that's it. Dear Sam, if you're reading this, then it means that you decoded my message. I trust you know that this was necessary as they inspect all the mail we sent. Listen, I'm still undercover and I'm deep into enemy territory, but I hit a wall. I tried everything else, but I can't move forward without the code we've been trying to decipher for the last few months. Thomas told me you were finally able to crack the code, so I need you to write me it ASAP. But you can't use regular ink. We can't risk being exposed. Not when we're that close to achieving our objective. You'll have to use a special type of ink, only visible when exposed to grape juice, aka the ink I used to write this letter. Don't worry, I'll teach you how to prepare it, it's really simple. Just mix a quarter of a cup of baking soda and a quarter of a cup of water together. Then, dip a cotton swab or a toothpick in the mixture and write the code on a piece of paper. And yes, paintbrushes work too. While waiting for the ink to dry, write the most trivial, boring, and tedious message you can with regular ink. Do not raise suspicion during control. Finally, put the letter in an envelope and send it to me. This will all be over soon, brother. I promise. Much love. Jake. Hi! Okay, look, here's the thing. It was fun while it lasted, alright? I would have loved playing your game till the end, but writing with your invisible ink turned out to be such a pain in the butt, so I'll use regular ink instead, okay? Okay, I don't know who you are, alright? But one thing's for sure, you are not Jake. How I know that? He would simply never endanger any of his friends, and especially not by writing down their real names on paper. That's right, Sam and Jake are code names, but Thomas isn't. We got these for a reason, you know. Better luck next time, I guess? P.S. The other paper should be read vertically. Bye-bye!